Welcome to the Small Loft Workshop. I'm John. I had this idea of building a tote to carry around my tools or drinks. And when I finally get to where I'm going, I can flip the old thing over and use it for a seat. Instead of designing this, I thought it would be fun to jump straight in and build it. This is my prototype and there are lessons to be learnt. According to my video timestamps, it took one hour and seven minutes to build, despite what I say at the end of the video. And here's how the build went. So I've got these offcuts of planed inch by six timber. It's actually what was left when I made the barge boards for the shed. So I'm going to use these for my mock up. I've just run downstairs and I've measured my dining room chair and it's 18 and a half inch tall so that's going to be it for the stool and I've also just raided the drinks cupboard and stolen a bottle of wine so first up for the two sides I'm going to need two pieces at 18 inch so let's uh, cut them Now I'm going to make the seat quite generous. I think I'll make that about 18 inch wide also. Okay, so uh, that's the tops and the two legs cut from three pieces of wood, all 18 inch long. So I think to join them together I'm just going to use pocket hole screws as it's a prototype. If I make one of these from hardwood, because I've got some oak, uh, I'll probably use dovetails uh, and maybe some through tenons, but uh, just to get the geometry right and see if the whole thing works, I think we'll just pocket all screw it together. Now, because it's going to sit on the uh, on the ground rather than having six inch in contact with the ground I think I'm just going to cut a, a shape in there just to uh, then cut it out on the bandsaw just so it doesn't rock Okay, so these are our two sides, three pocket holes at one end and just a little V at the other. I think I'm just going to run the router around just to uh, take the edges off uh, and then we can screw it together. Also run a mould around the top. Okay, let's just screw it together. Okay, so that's the shape of it. So the next thing I need to do now is put two sides in here. So, tape measure. I reckon actually six inch would be perfect. So I think I put some, a mould on the top edges of them, one, two, three, four. Um, 
I'm not going to get a pocket hole screw in there so I could screw it on the outside like that or I could just put a couple of screws through there like that I really like this form of woodworking it's taken me about 15 minutes so far to get this out of my head and into something that uh, looks like I envisaged my woodwork's a bit like jazz I never quite know what direction it's going to take when I uh, start the project but uh, that's the fun of it I guess that's the main body of it so I just need to put an handle on now for the handle I'm just using another piece of inch by six I think I'm just going to put some detail on it with a bandsaw the thing is to make sure you can get your wine out so So, you can't really put it much lower than that. So. Mm -hmm. That's a good point then, that. that might need to be a bit higher. These might need to be a bit lower. I'll just open it up a bit. Right, okay. Start off with it being two inch wide. There. Centre point 15 inches, 7.5 inch, that's there. To pick it up, my hand's about 4 inch across. So it's 10 on the halfway line, 8, 12, 4 inch. That's a 2 inch, uh, I'll put my cut that with a, I think I've got a 30 millimetre force in a bit so if I cut that with 30 mil, one, two, 30 mils there and then two inch above the force in a bit is there and two inch round it is there and there I'm just sketching it out here just to uh, envisage what I might like it to look like so that's the move the camera over look so I'm thinking of keeping that two inch band across there thinking of putting a 30 mil slot in with a force and a bit there maybe keeping two inch above the handle there and two inch at the side of the handle there and there which means I need to cut that out because I want it to look nice so I need to put some kind of curve on it just to make it look nice so just I'll just go and scout around in the work well, what's that scout around for something that's curved like that which might just help me let's have a look there you go it's a decent camera so I could put that could go there like that and that could go there like that 
that could go there and that could go there so I think something like that and if I find me 32 mil bit that's sort of me 30 millimeter bit and that will be halfway line over there so I need to run so I need to drill an hole there an hole there and then just connect them up with the saw or just continue so I'll just see if I can find my 30 millimeter bit actually I don't have a 30 millimeter bit I have a 35 millimeter bit so it will have to do. Okay, so there we are. Well, that's taken me about. That's taken me about 25 minutes to make that, I reckon. So it's a prototype. Now, what I need to do is work out if I made that, this again from hardwood, what uh, what I'd actually do differently. Certainly, probably put some through tenons on that joint and wedge them on the other side, just just for decorative. Maybe this bit here would be dovetailed and then this again I'd just put this handle through there with a through tenon and wedge it. I think that'd look quite nice. The only thing I need to work out is I think these are probably a bit too high because I'm not going to get my full quarter of wine in. Probably get three, maybe four. Maybe get four bottles in and I'll be done, which is uh, not enough for a party, is it? So, <laughs> so uh, I, I need to rethink that and probably make this lower. Now, the other thing is this: is obviously I'm kind of thinking you can uh, put your tools in it. Probably not with such a, a great big battery there, but uh, have a look. Chisel, hammer, carry that on your job. Or even put your gardening tools in, your trowel and your little fork and your gardening string and then take it around the garden. 
So the final uh, test is uh, the final test is let's see if we can sit on it. There, perfect. So I've now got a little seat for the workshop when I'm when I'm sat in here pondering uh, my next project. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a really quick tour. Like I said, it's taken probably less than half an hour from start to finish. Probably took me about six hours to edit it, but uh, that's YouTube for you. So uh, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you've not already subscribed to the Small Loft Workshop, then it'd be great if you would. It helps me out and. Uh, gives me a little bit of motivation for making these movies. Until next time, bye.